My girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Party all the time. I happen to love that song. It's Eddie Murphy, it's really great. I wanted to make hors d'oeuvres using phyllo cups, which are pre-made, sort of like the puff pastry thing. Phyllo is a real pain in the butt to work with. If you're making a large item like a baklava, something that's big, it's much easier. Nigel Slater mentions in his book, Christmas Chronicles, a phyllo top cheesecake, which sounds amazing to me. Things like that, big pieces, but little cups, it's, it's really a drag. So you can buy phyllo cups. They're like little hors d'oeuvre cups, right? So I thought, I'm just gonna buy those. I went to Citarella and they didn't have them. Then I saw the amazing Sable and Rosenfeld party cups. Okay, these are amazing. They're superb. There's other brands, but Sable and Rosenfeld is particularly delicious. They suggest that you heat them when you're making your hors d'oeuvre. I don't bother with that. I use these for a Christmas dinner, which is obviously a serious dinner. So uh, I took a risk, but they were absolutely superb. So we're going to make party cups three ways. I hate that when they're on the cooking shows when they go salmon three ways and, and the, the judge goes, I wish they would just make it one way really well. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna make three different kinds of hors d'oeuvre. My dears, you can fill these with anything you want, okay? Including hot pepper jelly and a piece of a boiled egg. I mean, they're so versatile. But we're gonna make a little mushroom couplet thing. We're going to make a shrimp one with a very special shrimp, which I'm gonna tell you about. And then we're going to make a little smoked fish one, which is probably the easiest one, so I can show you how amazing they are. So go to your store or, or online or their website, Sable and Rosenfeld. There are other brands. I recommend this brand. And try making, the next time your friends come over, just have some little hors d'oeuvre cups. Who's gonna say no? No one. So let's start with mushroom cups. Now, what are mushroom cups? Essentially, it's a moist duxelle, which is a dried mushroom filling. Uh, and you're just thinking about people having cocktails and picking up this little pastry cup with a delicious mushroom taste inside. You don't really need a recipe. Just make a delicious thing with mushrooms in it and stick it in the cup. I'm basically, I'm just gonna rough chop some shiitakes, which are a uh, lovely flat kind of mushroom. I just wiped these because as you know, you do ne you never, ever, ever wash mushrooms because they will absorb the water. Uh, so how am I gonna cut this? Oh, what's this you say? Hmm, what could this be? This was my Christmas present to myself. Thanks, Randy. This is a Parayusi. I hope I'm saying it right. These are made by Dan Maltwood in Cornwall. They are so gorgeous, and they're, it's literally the, it's, it's the lightest and most beautiful knife I've ever bought. Um, it's an investment. I, I saw them because Matt Abbe from Gordon Ramsay restaurant had a picture like this on Instagram, and I'm like, oh my God, what knife is that? So, Parayusi, here we go. What I'm doing is I'm basically just sort of rough chopping these, okay? Then I'm gonna turn this and go like this. I'm now I'm just cutting some, I'm cutting some shallots. Now I'm just gonna basically saute these and I'm gonna use some interesting spices and stuff from my Akko um, spice library. I picked some at random basically. This is Kashmiri chili powder, who knows? Green pepper granules. Dillweed, that's me, I'm dillweed. And Euphrates mint, which is hilarious because when I first took it out of the pack, I thought it said elephant mint. So I called it elephant mint, but it's really Euphrates mint. Let's go. Hot pan, olive oil. I got the curvy one. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I'm actually gonna do Hot pan butter. 
Um, a little butter with mushrooms is very luxurious. So you don't need a lot of liquid because uh, mushrooms release a ton of liquid. Don't forget that. I'm actually gonna break this in half. I'm gonna throw in my shallots or shallots as they say. Sizzle this up a little bit. Do you guys know about this show on Amazon Prime, Britain's Hidden Villages, which is hosted by a lady who's very famous in England who I remember deeply from my childhood called Penelope Keith, who's an actor. She was in a very famous show called The Good Life. She's a dame. And she goes around, this is really hot, she goes around to fabulous British villages and um, shows you how they run the village and the beautiful things there. And, and she's an interesting person. She's called the world's most beloved snob. <laughs> I thought I would try a little Kashmiri chili powder. What does it smell like? I'm gonna check it. Oh, it smells really good. So you know you always, if it's a powdered herb like this, you wanna always cook it a little bit, okay? Because otherwise it's raw. I was noticing how um, bitter the herbs, the curry powder is if you don't cook it. Like I tasted it a few times while I was cooking it and I was like, it's so interesting watching it mellow as it becomes more fragrant and all that. Anyway, it was interesting. I'm now going to put in my mushrooms, which I have cleverly put on a huge cutting board. Yes, perfection. Sort of just sauteing these down. Now I want these to get soft. I don't want a al dente mushroom in there. So I'm gonna put a little salt. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. I'm gonna taste this. Primo. That Kashmiri stuff is delicious. Put a little more in. These are so convenient. Carrie, thank you again for this amazing present. Just use it all, right? Just cooking this down. It's called real-time cooking. <laughs> um, I want it to be dark and soft. Oh yes, cooking down some mushrooms, fungi. Now, this filling, you can have ready and warm. 10 minutes before they come, fill the cups. I'm loving the look of this. It's about three minutes away. I'm happy with this. It's soft and lovely. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna fill this cup. You can put a little creme fraiche on the bottom for extra luxury. I mean, I don't know how you say no to this. Um, if you fill them too early, it could possibly soak through. So you do wanna fill these right before they come. I mean, I don't know how much more beautiful you get than that. You can finely chop this, but for the sake of eating it right now, I'm just gonna put that on top. Now imagine this on a plate with, you know, 10 other ones. They have a little martini, which you've pre-mixed, or your p pink peppercorn Negroni, or some beautiful, apparel. my mouth just watered, by the way. And then they have these lovely little canapes. Oh, it's delicious, God. Oh, that chili's good. It's a little bit of warmth at the end. You don't have to use Kashmiri chili. You can use any uh, paprika or anything. That little bit of heat, oh my God, that's good. So anyway, cups, make, make cups, try it out, why not? These are mushroom cups. Let's make another cup. Now we're gonna try a smoked fish cup. Um, this one is really easy, so if you don't feel like cooking at all, you can do this. Get your Sable and Rosenfeld cups. This is Catsmo smoked trout. I'll be honest with you, I, uh, I haven't seen Catsmo make this product before. Catsmo is in the Catskills. I'm gonna just cut a piece of this for demonstration purposes. Put the rest back. First of all, I'm gonna get my elephant mint. I mean, Euphrates mint, which is dried mint. I'm gonna take a Sable and Rosenfeld cup. They have no idea we're doing this, by the way. I'm gonna take a little bit of creme fraiche, or creme friche, as they say, on South Park. And I'm gonna stick a little piece of lettuce. I'm just making this up as I go along. How, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of Euphrates mint on that section, and a little bit of green pepper granules. I used these this weekend. I found them to be kind of amazing. Very floral and yummy. Then I'm going to cut a 
piece of smoked fish, put that on top. It's not really sticking, so I'm making this up as I go. So put a little bit of creme fraiche on the bottom also. Then I'm gonna put some dill on top of that. Now, you can also put a little creme fraiche on top before the dill if you want, but that's one example. Uh, remember with smoked fish, uh, it's quite salty, so you don't really need extra salt. Creme fraiche. You could also use mayonnaise if you wanted. A little bit of, I forgot the herbs on that one. Green pepper granules on top. A little bit of black pepper. Amaze balls. So easy too, right? Smoke fish cups. Shrimpy, 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 shrimp, Mr. Shrimpy. Give me some shrimp, boom, 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 but please make sure it's from some shrimp. I wanna tell you about the greatest shrimp I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, Instagram came in my feed and I learned about a company called Sun Shrimp. Now listen, a lot of the shrimp that you buy in America comes from the Far East, a lot of it. And if you've ever seen the undercover YouTube videos of the unbelievable working conditions, basically uh, slave labor, of the people who harvest and grow the shrimp in their bare feet in the chemical bath that these shrimp are basically dying in, it's then frozen and, and sent to the United States. Now there's Gulf shrimp, which is excellent, but most all shrimp is frozen unless you're standing at the dock to receive the shrimp. Try to buy Gulf shrimp, but really try to buy sun shrimp because I'll tell you, there is a really marked difference between any shrimp I've ever bought and sun shrimp. You always wanna look for companies where the employees have a share, like for instance, King Arthur, because it, it creates a culture in the company that's very positive and, and prideful. And sun shrimp is totally organic. There's zero ammonia. You ever smell ammonia when you open a pack of shrimp? It's sustainable. In other words, they're not huge tanks of shrimp poo and dead shrimp that are leaching down into the surrounding area. I mean, it's an amazing company. They're also humane. So there's no, I mean, humane is a difficult concept with something with a sort of a difficult brain concept, but they're humane, meaning that they're not suffocating them in big nets. You know, it's, it's, it, it's an incredible company, Sun Shrimp. They know I'm saying this, but I, I want you to know that Deb Brown, who works for Sun Shrimp, gave you guys a discount code, which you can use to get 10% off, which I think is fabulous that Deb did that and that Sun Shrimp gave us the honor of being able to talk about how amazing their product is. And I'm not kidding you. It's also beautiful. So you receive them in these packs. These are deveined and cleaned, very reasonably priced for a humane, sustainable, organic, uh, employee conscious company, sun shrimp all the way. Unlike regular shrimp, which I would say is two minutes ice bed. I gotta be straight with you. I think sun shrimp is a minute 45. Uh, I'm not sure why, and Adam and I were trying to figure it out earlier. I'm not sure why they need slightly less cooking. I've noticed that two minutes and then maybe a couple seconds when you're transferring it does make a difference for them. They can get slightly overcooked, but it doesn't really matter because they're so amazingly delicious. So let's go ahead and cook our shrimp. I'm going to just open the pack. Zero, zero smell. Um, you just take them out of the fridge and, I mean the freezer, throw them in your fridge the night before, and I'm just gonna boil these. Boiling water. For tips on how to boil water, go back to our archive. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take my scrimps, which are right here. I put some salt in the water. I have my timer, my marathon timer. Don't ever mess with your marathon timer. I'm gonna put the shrimp in as swiftly as I can because that counts as time, by the way. A minute 45. Don't let this boil over because it will. It makes that lovely white foam on top and then it goes it likes to do that on Christmas Eve. Off we go. That's completely cooked. Look at those beauties. And onto the ice. You wanna stop the cooking as quickly as you can. 
Okay. Let's continue. Um, so we're going to make some cocktail sauce, which we've made before, to go in the bottom of the cups. Uh, you know how to do this. Making your own cocktail sauce. Reggie claims it's better than cocktail sauce from the bottle. To me, it's exactly the same. Uh, the good news is about making your own is that you can make the ratio the way you like it. So I like a lot of horseradish, but that's too much. I'm gonna put a little more ketchup in there. Uh, you can also, I mean, you can make your own ketchup, but you can also use blitzed tomatoes. If you have really, really beautiful tomatoes, you can do that. Or Lynn took out the sriracha. You can use sriracha instead of this. Remember, that's got a lot of garlic in it, though. I'm just gonna cut off the ends so we don't have to deal with too many seeds here. A little bit of lemon juice, a little black pepper. I'm pretty sure this is fine, but I'm gonna check it. Delicious. Uh, so take one of your gorgeous sun shrimp, perfectly cooked, pull off the tail by squeezing it like that. Cut a couple of these chilled shrimp lengthways. This is just for luxury's sake. We're gonna put a little dot in the bottom. I'm gonna put two little teeny pieces of shallot like that in the bottom. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of my special green pepper in the bottom, just a little bit. Liberal amount, half a scrimps. Oh, that looks really good. Little black pepper. Oh, how divine. And you could put a little chive on top if you had it, which I do. I think it needs a piece of green, so I'm gonna put a little chive on top. There you go. Sable and Rosenfeld are not messing around, but if you leave this a long time, it will uh, soak through. So make these right before they come. I mean, this, with this alternating on your plate, you're gonna win friends and influence people. I don't know what boy or girl would turn their nose up at this. I don't think very many would. I know you guys love the full length episodes and just so you know, we're back very soon with some full length episodes for you. But for now, it's shut up, cups. Shrimpy, 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 shrimp, Mr. Shrimpy, give me some shrimp, boom, boom.